one. Hi everyone, this is Christine Josty of Mail Something Pretty and I wanted to show you this fun little banner for the summertime that I made that you can just hang up on um, a window or your wall or um, sometimes I put them on a, like a picture frame or uh, not a picture frame, a mirror and just hang up wherever you'd like and it's just fun little summer banner. Um, this is one of our club projects so I just wanted to show you how to assemble yours but I figured other people might want to see um, a fun little um, home decor project. So the paper you'll see is from the Pattern Play, I think that's what it's called, I'm going to check in a second, paper. And this is host paper for the club. You're going to notice that we use this paper for all three projects. So there's fun patterns and colors on one side and then it's all black and white on the other. So it's really fun. And the other cool thing is you get four sheets of paper with each pack. So club, as you are a host each month, you may want to consider, as part of your Stampin' Rewards, you may want to consider um, getting the pack of paper. So it's Pattern Party, getting it mixed up. Um, it is 12 by 12, and um, you get four sheets of each of the designs. So it's 48 large sheets of paper for $18, and that's with your Stampin' Rewards dollars. You can't buy it on a regular order. You have to be the host to buy it. For anyone else, um, if you place an order of $150, that is considered a party or like a, a party order. So then you can order that because you get 10%, you get um, $15 off or from a $150 order uh, of Stampin' Rewards. So, um, oh, actually, shoot, you'd have to order a little bit more, I guess. You'd have to order um, to get $180, I guess, to be able to buy the pack of paper. Um, but anyways, I wanted to point out the paper in the back of the catalog. And these are also host um, stamp sets that you can only buy um, as a host. Okay, back to the project. So we have this fun little banner. For a club, we do two cards and a 3D project. So this is our 3D project this month. And so you guys, all your stuff that you need is right in your little packet that you received or that you will receive depending on when you watch it. And so I do pre-cut like everything. Um, easier. Let me take that out here and I'll just show you for those who aren't part of the club um, how I got my pieces. So these scallop pieces were cut with this die and this die is from, this is going to look messy but this is kind of how I store these ones, the scallop contours dies and I love this set. Oops, I have to replace my little bag, it's ripping. Oh, that's because of the tape. So you get these scallop rectangles, all different types of scallops. You get an edger, this one, this one. And then you get these two, which coordinate with the, um, I forget now what it's called, um, the stamp set. Uh, it's like there's a daisy and there's the other flowers. But even if you didn't use, use those two pieces, I think um, all these pieces are definitely worth it. So you can see I've been using these pieces quite a bit on all my products. So that's how I got the scallop of this piece. And then the little circles from this die, and actually the uh, little pennants here are from this die, and both of these are from the Tasteful Labels dies. And that's another great uh, set. They're all shapes, um, and I, I use the shapes quite a lot. So that's where I got my pieces. You can certainly um, cut, rank cut rectangles of your own, figure it all out. And but let's assemble this um, and I'm just going to copy exactly as I did because it's morning and I keep stumbling over my words and I know I can't think so I used glue so I just put a little glue so again these guys were cut in half oh so look I'm already messed up this color goes on here and you can make your little stick up part as um, big as little as you want and look as I'm doing this you can make you know if these are the same color you can make like little ribbons there's a bigger circle in that pack too but it's fun stuff that you can do if you cut um, some of your shapes you can kind of turn them into a different shape uh, yellow green again you can play with your colors I am for the sake of this video doing oops, exactly what I did. Alright, so 
and this is poppy. Yeah, I can actually tell you all the colors I did. Let me get there. One second. Oh, that one's upside down. There's stitching on these little pennants, so you want to be able to see the stitching. All right, so my colors are Poppy Parade, Pumpkin Pie, Granny Apple Green, Pool Party, Crushed Curry, and Bermuda Bay. Those are the colors I used. All right, so for the letters for summer, I already cut them out. But what I did to make it easier for you guys, hopefully, I used the, um, oh, what is it called? The adhesive paper, adhesive strips. I forget what it's called. And so, oh, of course, do I have? Yeah, there's like little perforations on them so you can peel off. This is how I find it works better. Just peel off some of it, see how sticky it is. And then stick it down rather than get my work surface all sticky because I know that's going to happen. Um, I'll stick it down. And I did cut these the same size. And then you peel off other piece and then you can just smooth it down that's how I find it's the cleanest <laughs> but I still got sticky on me and so that so this was just white paper and then so now that's my the sticky part so when I used my dies and this is the I think it's called playful al alphabet or alphabet dies I just put them down on the paper part and then ran them through my machine and then I ended up with my letters okay so this is the part you guys are gonna do so let's do this let's get these in the same order okay and so you have to just peel off they were having a little trouble last night peeling off but every confidence you'll get it. So this just peels off and then you can oh. oh I did oh shoot I did what I just told you not to do I cut them out on the wrong side <laughs> so <laughs> the part I peel away uh, is um, the sticky side I'll make sure that you haven't cut yours yet club so I will make sure that yours are cut on the proper side all right, so I'm gonna put this together without the letters. But you would just stick down the letters. Sometimes I find it, oh, I don't know where they are, easier, to, I use tweezers to help place them. Ugh, okay, that's all right, that's minor. All right, so then, I'll just put mine on after. I'm gonna line these guys up. And I used dimensionals. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to use this one. Oh, those are mini. Nope, not going to use those. I'm just going to use remnants of my. You know how you can use these, all your edges of your dimensionals. These ones you can cut little or you can cut bigger, whatever size you want. All right. So I'm just going to flip these over and put dimensionals. And you can glue them straight down too if you don't have dimensionals, but I like how they pop up. Or just don't put it too much over the edge because if you want the edge to go over. And if you prefer these to be in the middle, but again, <clears throat> Excuse me, I like how they kind of wrap around or wrap over. It's a regular size dimensional. Ellen came in the morning and she actually turned out that 
everyone else couldn't come in the morning. So she had a private club class, but she, um, her grandson's turning 21, and so, and his name is Carter, so we actually cut out Carter, because it fit, um, and she made him a little birthday banner. She was gonna put it in his card. So I thought that was clever. So you can really customize your banners however you want. So we pretend those, that said summer. And then, um, this is the Bumblebee Gingham Ribbon. And the cool thing about this scallop die is it comes like pre-cut. Perforated is not the right word, but it's kind of pre-cut. So you can um, weave in your ribbon. You can have it go in the front or the back just by, it just goes like that. And they did this on purpose for ribbon or even if you want on a card or something, you can put paper behind it or you can just use it flat because you may have not even known they were cut. So you can just glue it down flat. The other thing is you can um, you know, use different clips. If you wanted different types of clips to hold down your, I'm gonna do it in the back. Your banner, you can do, you know, you can put yours together anyway. But I think it's kind of cool that the ribbon, the ribbon weaves in. Like that. Okay, so you're gonna weave it all the way in. And so then, presto magic of TV, you get your banner like that, okay? So I happen to make the, the ribbon 18 inches, um, but certainly you can do yours however you want if you're cutting your own. And then if you want summer, and then you can even turn it around and you could do something else. You could use it for two seasons. Okay, so that is my banner, my summer banner. I'm gonna go actually hang mine up so my summer guests can see it. And um, it's kind of a cloudy, rainy day today, so bring a little color to the house. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Christine Josty of Mail Something Pretty. Be sure to check out my website for uh, lots more tips and tricks. And while you're there, um, be sure to sign up for my mailing list and you'll get even more things sent right to your mailbox. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.